Hi, today we've got a fantastic opportunity to show you the secret side of the Mitsubishi SST transmission. That's the semi-automatic clutchless manual transmission that comes out in the Evo 10 and the Rally Art Lancer. And as you can see here at the moment, we've got the two halves of the gearbox apart. The scary thought on this transmission is you can't buy parts from Mitsubishi if you have a damaged one. It's either aftermarket parts, which are pretty rare these days, or a complete wrap new housing and assembly from Mitsubishi, I think they're over $10,000. What we're actually doing for this client is doing a service on the transmission and cleaning the internal filter, which you can see in this photo is difficult to access unless you've got the pan off and then the complete gearbox dismantled. And also separately is we're putting from the major point of view is new heavy duty clutch kits. Now the clutch kits, as you can see in this photo, are a complete assembly that runs on the inside of the housing within the bell housing but are also part of the high pressure oiling system of the gearbox and they are controlled electronically, they're not controlled manually by yourself driving the car. And obviously you can see here all the components that have come together when it all goes back together. We've got the um, bell body assembly, clutch, the uh, pan cover, obviously um, this is the gear drive for the, for the uh, actual pump itself. The clutch pack assembly here, which is on the gear engine side of the transmission, and I can show you in a photo, still photo here, the individual clutch packs that you can source from us, which allow you to run higher horsepower through the transmission and allowing different shifting mechanisms, or if you might have worn the transmission out. Now one of the things I do want to show you, and you can see in this still photo, is the seal kit. Now the Viton seal kit, which is available separately again as a service item for this car, and you can see in this photo how they're available separately, are very, very difficult to fit and often they are installed incorrectly and they can be pinched. Now the scary part is if you install them incorrectly, like the person who owns um, the gearbox behind you over here, um, which we're fixing for a gentleman, um, he did the gear install himself, put the whole gearbox back together, put it back in the car, I don't know, what, over 10 hours work, get in the car, goes to drive it, the car won't drive because the seal was slightly pinched when it was assembled. Uh, so the whole transmission has to be removed, new seals installed, put it all back together, put it back in the car. So you can see from this position here, um, obviously the two different halves, but classically internally it is just a six speed transmission with obviously the main driven gear differential here. Um, this all comes together and the valve body goes on there and then the pan cover over the top which is available separately which I'll show you in a still photo here. as an aluminium assembly that allows you to have a dipstick and uh, additional capacity oil because remember the factory standard one with the plastic cover here doesn't have a dipstick. It's actually quite difficult to measure the content of the fluid inside the transmission but you've got the cram wheel, um, the pinion drive which then is assembled down from the side of the box here. When it all goes back together obviously in theory it all works correctly but separate to that on the gearbox you've got to have the 90 degree drive for the um, tail shaft and the other components of the gearbox which is the transfer case and on this particular car we're also installing a heavy duty modified LSD or limited slip diff for the transfer case before it goes back in the car and again you can see in this still photo the modified limited slip diff for the installation of this car. So hopefully you will have learned a little bit. Um, this is actually the pump for the gearbox and I'll just carefully show you for my video man this part here there's this, the uh, filter inside but this part here is actually a magnet and you can see all of that is worn out parts from inside the gearbox and it's all iron filings which are attracted to that magnet but the difficult part is that is nearly impossible to get to when the gearbox is assembled without pulling it apart. You can get to it carefully from pulling the pan off so if you've got one yourself you want to pull the pan off you can just see the side of that you could clearly carefully clean it if you poke a rag in there and pull it all out but you can see these are the types of things that are not designed to be removed in service because Mitsubishi decided in their infinite wisdom that if you have problems you have to replace them. So obviously these parts now are becoming to come out of warranty. So if you've got one of these transmissions, take care of it. 
and also have a look at some of our other videos. There's one particular video on how to service this transmission with an oil cooler kit and remote filters and things like that because you can see I'll show you in this still photo here the filter that is on the side of the gearbox is hellishly expensive from Mitsubishi like two or two hundred and fifty dollars for a plastic housing and a paper filter um, and that really over a period of time clogs up rather quickly. So there you have it, the Mitsubishi SST semi-automatic clutchless manual transmission. Hopefully that's helped you learn a little bit more about your Mitsubishi wherever you are in the world. Of course you know where to find us if you want to watch more videos. Follow us on YouTube. Um, go to our new vehicle search and look up page. We can put your year, make, model and type of car in and give you a huge list of the parts available for your car with photos and videos and pictures as well as pricing. So no matter where you are in the world, thanks for watching. I'm Brett Middleton.